Dr. Ellen here from Clean Chiropractic. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to talk to you today about saying no and the power of saying no and how important it is for our own well-being to be able to say no. I know there's a bit of a dichotomy at the moment. There's a lot of you who are not working and have no children, so have quite a lot of time on your hands, theoretically. And then there are those of you who are working from home and are also trying to keep up with the homeschooling in some fashion um, and stay on top of everything. And it's probably you that I'm talking to at the moment. Um, this will be a useful tool to have once this is all over, but I think it's particularly important at the moment. Why do you need to be able to say no? Well, I suppose the main reason is that it, you, it stops other people's priorities taking precedent over your own. Um, if you say no, you'll have more time for rest and recovery and you won't, be able to, you won't end up frustrated and stressed. Saying yes when you really, really want to say no is actually a major stressor. And as we know, most of us are in a stress response at the moment with everything that's going on. Um, saying yes when you mean no can cause increased anxiety. It causes tension, aches and pains, and I'm as sure as a lot of you realize, it will also affect your sleep as well. So if you can learn how to say no, you're actually saying yes to yourself. Now, it will gain you some respect. They might, the person might not be very happy with you, but they will respect you a lot more. So how do you go about saying no? Well, if you can't say it face to face, what I like to do is get the person to either text or email you. So then you have time to think of a structured response. Don't offer an explanation. So if somebody says, oh, would you like to come out for a coffee? And this is all over naturally. And you say, uh, no, I can't because I have got the kids. They're very likely to come back and say, well, what day suits you? So don't offer an explanation. Also, at times, offer an alternative when it's appropriate. So if someone invites you to go to the pub, for instance, because I don't like the pub at all, I have no grawl for it. If someone invites me to a pub, says, do you want to come out for a drink? Rather than saying no, I would say, well, how about, we don't go to the pub, how about we go for a coffee instead? So when it's appropriate, offer an alternative. Right, I hope these tips are helpful and I'll talk to you again soon.